Welcome to JFD's tutorial on the differences between the MT4 Plus and MT5 Plus platforms. Our topic today is the Market Watch. Let's start with the Symbols tab. As you can see, there is a striking difference in terms of the tabs. We used to have only two tabs on MT4 Plus, whereas here we have four tabs. The two additional tabs on MT5 Plus are the Details and the Trading tabs. We're going to focus first on the Symbols tab. So, in Symbols, we have a nice new tool in MT5 Plus, the Search Engine. Here, you can enter any instrument or instrument counter in the specified field. Let's do a quick test. You can type in Euro, for example, and choose whatever pair you prefer, and then press Enter. It will appear in your Symbols. To further elaborate on the Symbols tab, you're presented with different additional columns that you do not see on the MT4 Plus platform. Here we have, for example, the milliseconds option. You can right-click and add it. For the milliseconds to work, you need to have the time column open and running because it can be seen in the last digits of the time column. Then we have another difference, the last column. This represents the last traded pair on which a deal was executed. Here, you can turn it on and off by right-clicking on the Symbols tab. Then we move on to Volume. This is the volume of the last executed deal. You can also add it to the Symbols tab from the right-click option or hide it in the same manner. For the last price and the volume, you might not be able to see the true figures as we are now dealing with the Forex market. In Forex, as you may know, we have a high volume of trading orders continuously, so that means that at all times we have a large amount of trades coming in and being executed at the same time. So, the figures for the last executed deal may vary a lot. Moving on, we have another improvement here in MT5+, Plus, as you can see. We have Auto Remove Expired. This is a function that deletes any expired instruments each time the platform restarts. So, when you restart your platform, all the instruments that are not active anymore will not be present in the list, and instead we will have only active ones. OK, that's all in terms of this tab. Now we're going to show the Symbols window. So, we press Ctrl U. I'm going to open it in MT4 Plus as well so you can see. Here we have some major improvements. We have a search engine, which is really useful. We didn't have this on MT4 Plus, so this is a major update. Here you can type any instrument or instrument counter. Let's enter a currency pair. For example, USD, and we also want Australian USD. So we just double click on it. And when it becomes yellow, just press OK, and it's added on the symbols list. Now, the other difference is that all the specifications about the instrument are shown below. On the other hand, in MT4+, Plus, the specifications were just one click away in the Properties section. But it's much easier in MT5+, Plus, where you have the specifications below the list of instruments, and you choose whichever instrument you prefer, and you can see all the information listed below. So that's about it for the Symbols tab window. We can now move on to the other tabs. Let's begin with the pop-up prices. The pop-up prices are kind of the same as in the MT4 Plus platform in terms of interface and layout. However, in MT5 Plus, they are quite different in terms of their features. You can access the pop-up prices by right-clicking on the Symbols tab. You can see here, already opened up so you can notice the differences, all the columns for the pop-up prices section on MT5+. Plus. Whereas in MT4+, Plus we used to have five columns, here in MT5+, Plus we have many more. Let's start with the bid. This is essentially the bid price of the instrument, but we also have the bid high price, which is the highest bid price for the current trading day. And then we have the bid low, which is the lowest bid price for the current trading day. Then we move on to the ask. This represents 
the ask price of the specified instrument. And then we have ask high and ask low. Respectively, these are the highest and the lowest ask prices for the current trading day. Moving on to the column called last. This represents the last price at which a deal was executed. Then we have last high and last low, which respectively are the last highest and last lowest prices of an executed trade for the current day. This is followed by volume. The volume is the volume of the last traded deal. And then we have volume high and volume low, which are the highest and lowest volumes of the last traded deal. Now let's move on to the spread, which is the column with an exclamation mark on it. It shows the spread, which is essentially the difference between the bid and ask price. And then we have time, which is the time of the last quote. And then we have bank. This actually shows the liquidity provider. We have something quite handy here on MT5 Plus that we don't have on the other platform. Here you can click on any of the symbols and you can place an order. Now that we are done with the pop-up prices, we can move on to a new tab that is not available on MT4 Plus, the Details tab. This basically provides you with statistical information regarding a selected instrument from the Symbols tab. So you select any instrument in the Symbols tab. Let's do that now. Say we change our selection to GBP USD. And then when you open the Details tab, you will see the information for GBP USD. And then we have the Trading tab. This is also a new tab. Essentially, this is just a one-click trading representation of all instruments in the Symbols tab. Now we can move on to the Ticks tab. With the Ticks tab, the name itself is different from the same tab in MetaTrader 4 Plus. It is called Ticks now, whereas before it was called Tick Chart. Here we have some interesting improvements. First of all, in MT5 Plus, we have the Auto Scroll. This is when a tick movement automatically moves the prices when a tick is made. Then there is the new and helpful crosshair option that is not available in MT4+. In addition, we have the new last line as well as the bid line which also exists in MT4+. The bid and last line can be removed as well in MT5+. By just clicking and thereby adding or removing the tick, any of the lines can be added or deleted at any given moment. We do not have this option in MT4+. We can only add or hide the ask line or the grid. We cannot remove the bid line and we do not have a last line. So that's it when it comes to the major differences between the market watch in MT4 Plus and MT5 Plus. If you have any questions about this tutorial, get in touch with us at the email below and feel free to leave us your comments too. Thanks for watching.